Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm at the Blackstone Gorge on the Massachusetts, Rhode Island border. I'm doing Wildflowers 101, episode 46. Today, we are looking for stringy stone crop. Here is the stringy stone crop. Here you can see the stringy stone crop is surrounded by lots of poison ivy, so I have to be very careful not to put my hand in that. Stingy stone crop's nicknames are gold moss sedum, gold moss stone crop, graveyard moss, trailing stone crop, star sedum, and yellow moss. It is in the stone crop family. Blooms spring and summer. It is a succulent, evergreen, perennial ground cover. Flowers a yellow-green, star-shaped, arises on inflorescence during the summer, which is a group or cluster of flowers on a stem. There are five petals, half-inch wide, sharply pointed. Five sepals, ten stamens, flowering shoots are reddish. Leaves are green, narrowly oval, sharp pointed tips. Three-eighths to one inch long by one-eighth to a quarter inch wide. Leaves are simple, whorled. Leaf blade is entire and stalkless. Stems, low-lying, matte-forming succulents. Greenish to a reddish color. Has branched, creeping, and ascending stems up to ten inches. Roots are fibrous. Fruits and seeds are brown. Brown, one eighth to a quarter inch long seed capsules. The fruit usually withers before reaching maturity and the seeds abort. Habitats are forest edges, forests, disturbed places, gardens, rock slopes, and banks of streams. Stringy stone crop likes full sun to shade. Stringy stone crop is non native and an invasive introduced plant from Europe and Asia. Pollinators are bees, butterflies, and it is a host for a few butterflies. I hope you have a chance to get out and see this flower from spring to summer. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. Thanks for watching. See you next time.